So where was I last week when the Power BI team released the Power BI update for December 2022? I actually got COVID and I was, you know, not among the living for a while, if you know what I mean. So yeah, that's the reason why I haven't made an update. I wasn't going to do it, but you asked me to, could you do a video anyway, even, even if it's a little bit late. So this is what we're going to do today. Let's get started. Okay, it is Christmas, right? So don't expect a lot of updates. I think they could skip this update altogether just so that, you know, they can relax and be with their family. But they still wanted to give us something, so thank you for that. And the first thing that they give us is the slicer. So as you probably know, the slicers, you have to format it within the slicer with everything else is formatted with the format pane. Not anymore. So now the formatting of the slicers will happen as of any other visual on the formatting pane. So very, very neat. Next, we have three new DAX functions. And they are for making comparison calculations. They say they are like SQL Windows functions. So we're going to do a DAX Fridays uh, video for each of the functions. So you and I learn them. But in the meantime, there are three, this index, it is offset that's been here for a while. And then we have um, windows, right? And we will do a separate video uh, in the coming weeks. The next one is what they've already told us last month and is that the getting and start experience is going away, which thank you for that. I found it really annoying to be honest. I mean, it's good if you are new have it there for a week and then let it go. Like we don't need it all the time. And the get data experience as we know it also going away. So they say they're going to roll it out, roll in the new experience in January. So when you come back from your holidays, you will probably see it. It's basically moving to the SharePoint way of getting data, which is nice. The next one is that you can track metrics, you know, the KPI metrics in Windows app. I'm not sure what Windows app is used for. I'm, I'm imagining that maybe like in factories or if you have a screen that are showing data, that that's where you would use a Windows app. Um, so now you can track metrics in there in case you are using it. And last but not least, they finally made a statement on Charticulator. And I don't want anybody to get fooled. When an app, when a piece of software does not get updated anymore, it's dead. Like, that, that's it, it's done, the, the, the life of it is, is just gone, regardless of how you word it. So they have said that oh, they, they're not going to develop it anymore, they will support it still, it means that it will still be, it will still work on Power BI desktop for now, but obviously there's going to be a deprecation, it's, it's just a natural thing. So that's nice. It's nice that they have officially said it. What it upsets me is that they didn't say that there is a community version of Charticulator now. So one of the people that were developing Charticulator for Microsoft decided to get, because, you know, it's open source, get all the code and create a community version. I'm going to post a link down below here so you can, you know, give him support and give him feedback and because he's actively developing it. And I think that they should definitely have said that on the announcement. So it really made me sad when I saw they didn't do it. If you're watching this video now, you know. So the commun the Microsoft version of Charticulator is dead, but there's a community version that you can use to get, you know, to continue doing Charticulator visuals. So yeah, this is all for 2022, I guess. <laughs> Let's see what it comes in 2023. Have a great Christmas. We're probably going to see each other more. Maybe not a lot more, but a, a bit more. And I will see you otherwise again in the new year if you have other fun things to do.